Welcome to the Big Dave C's first video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a spiral rope using the screw tool in Blender. I'll be using Blender 2.45, which you can download from blender.org. I'll assume that you have basic knowledge of Blender. If you are new to Blender, I recommend you download and watch the Blender Basics tutorial videos from blenderunderground.com before you attempt this tutorial. OK. Start up Blender and let's get started. Start by deleting the default queue by pressing X and confirm with Enter. Press numpad 1 to move to the front view. This is where we will create the profile of the rope. Add a circle by pressing space and selecting add, mesh and circle. We only need a few vertices for the circle as we can add a subsurf modifier to smooth it all out afterwards. So set the number of vertices to 12 and click OK. Scale the circle down to one third of its current size by pressing S for scale and typing 0.3333 and enter on the keyboard. Now we'll zoom in so we can get a better view of the circle with the mouse wheel and pan with shift and the middle mouse button. Move the circle to the left so that the vertices that are second from the right line up with the object center. We're not going to need the vertices that are on the right of the circle, so select those and press X to delete them. The right mouse button to select this one, shift right mouse button for this one, press X and select vertices. Press A to select all of the remaining vertices. Press numpad 7 to move to the top view. From this view we can spin the circle using the spin duplicate tool to give the profile three separate circles. These will form the three strands used in the rope. The spin duplicate tool duplicates the selected vertices around the 3D cursor in the current view. We need to create two more circles at 120 degree steps around the cursor. Press F9 to go into the editing buttons. And around the middle of the mesh tools, you'll find the spin tools. In the degrees text box, enter 240. This will spread the whole spin over 240 degrees, which is how far our two new circles need to go. Enter 2 into the steps box. That will make sure we have two duplicates created. And make sure the turns is set to 1. Now, click on Spin Dupe. If you move the 3D view around, you can see we've created three equally spaced circles. Press numpad 1 to go back to the front view. We're now going to join the three circles together by merging their endpoints. Press A to deselect the last circle created by the spin dupe tool. Press B twice to go to brush select mode. And click on the top set of innermost vertices to select them. Press right mouse button to exit brush mode. Now press W to bring up the specials menu and select merge and at center. After deselecting the resulting vertex, perform the procedure again on the bottom set. Press BB, select right mouse button, W for the specials menu, merge and at center. The final step in preparing for the screw tool is to let the tool know how far and in which direction to move the new geometry. In this case we'll be moving it straight up by three times the height of the circles. The reason for this is that we have three circles. If they move up three times their own height they should fit in nicely. 
To pass this information to the screw tool, we need to make a line with two vertices showing the height and direction. Press Shift D to duplicate the currently selected vertex and press Enter to confirm. Now press E to extrude it, Z to constrain it to the Z axis and Enter 2 on the keyboard to move the new vertex up by two blender units. Press Enter to confirm. We are now ready to create our rope. Back in the Mesh Tools tab, set Steps to 12. This is how many steps are used per full turn. So in this case, each segment of rope will be made of 12 sets of 3 circles. In turns, enter how many turns you want the screw tool to complete. The more turns, the longer the rope. Each turn in our case will be 2 blender units high. If we enter 5, the rope will total 10 blender units. If you select Keep Original, the profile we've created will be left intact and separate from the rest of the rope mesh. This could be useful for making more than one rope. We don't want to keep it this time, so make sure it's not selected. Clockwise simply tells the screw tool which way to spin the vertices. And the degrees box has no effect on the screw tool. Now we have our parameters ready, make sure you're in front view and select all of the verses by pressing A twice. The screw tool only affects the selected vertices. Click on screw and your rope is created. Just a couple of finishing touches now and we're done. Tap out of edit mode to see your nice new rope and click on set smooth. You'll notice some black lines around your rope. This is because the normals are facing in odd directions. Tap back into edit mode and select all of the vertices with the A key. Now press Ctrl and N and select recalculate normals outside. Before we smooth our rope out with the subset modifier, we will need to remove the straight line running through the middle of it. Deselect all of the vertices with the A key and point the mouse cursor at the top of the straight line. Now press L to select the link vertices and press X to delete them. Tap back into object mode and add a subset modifier. You can add it from the modifier list or you can press Ctrl 2 to quickly add one on level 2. And there it is. Now, go and visit the Blender Underground forums to find out from the Colos how to bend your rope with a curve modifier. Thanks for watching.